Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for the Boys Singles Final of the Australian Open Championship from Australia, Oliver Anderson. The pinnacle was just winning the Australian Open. And then again. I was pretty shocked that I won, to be perfectly honest. Um, I felt that I got a little bit lucky with being injured and still being able to pull through. Uh, thanks everyone for coming out today um, and getting behind me, I appreciate it. Everyone kind of knew that you know, after I won the Australian Open that obviously money gets thrown at you a fair bit. Oh, it always has, but I've never wanted to sign up for anything just because I never really knew how long I had in tennis with my body. I'm going to receive treatment uh, here at Rod Labor Arena. Yeah, I'd signed that deal and then I think it was even within a month that I went to surgery and then I needed a bit of time off and with, um, with having that time off I was going to be left with a, a uh, financial debt. Just through sponsors and not playing anymore you'd have to fill, um, con fulfill contracts and I wasn't able to do that. That's why the match fixing originally came about. Sitting, sitting in the room next to the tennis court for about an hour, just contemplating what I should do, and I just wasn't sure, and I was nervous and feeling sick and uncomfortable, obviously, for what was about to happen. I was asked to drop just one set, the first set of my match, and then I'd be paid, um, just paid for it. I wasn't sure what that figure was at the time as well. But yeah, I still naively agreed to do it. I got approached by the police soon after um, the match and the tournament was over for me. And, um, and yeah, I was shocked that, the, that I'd been caught and disappointed in myself with what had happened. At first, I tried to you know, deal with it myself and I just, I just knew that there was no chance this was gonna just slide under the radar. So I had to talk to my parents and get myself a lawyer and prepare for a, a rough trial. Match fixing charges against the Australian Open Boys Champion is making some major news. Before the match, betting agencies noticed irregularities. Anderson is scheduled to appear in court coming up on March 2nd to face the charges. Doing something like, like what I did affects obviously so many more people. Yeah, it, it hurts your family and it's disappointing for siblings and parents to see your son and brother do the wrong thing and have to, have to deal with the consequences and it affects friends, family and relationships. No matter what, match fixing is just not an option. It shouldn't be a part of anything, no sport. 